I'm a big fan of festivals, actually. Uh, I'm involved with the Hay Festival, with this festival and various others. Uh, and it's a relatively new thing for writers, actually. Um, but it's a great chance for us to, re to, 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 to meet our readers, um, which we never do otherwise. And also to meet uh, other writers, for audiences to, to see and hear writers they might not have heard, heard of. Um, and for a whole lot of mixing uh, and talking to go on around books, which is a fabulous thing. Uh, what happened is a collection of stories, essays, observations, bits and pieces. Um, and I re really like writing relatively short things, partly because I'm really lazy. And secondly, because you can get them done really quickly uh, and, and there's a sort of energy to them. Um, so there are pieces in here that are very serious about the fatwa, for instance, against Salman Rushdie. Uh, uh, pieces about writers I like, like uh, George Simenon. Uh, actors. Um, stories. Stuff about my neighbourhood. Um, they were all really fun to write, and I hope they're good fun to, to, to read, actually. Um, you just hope that your pleasure in, in writing conveys itself to the, to the reader. That's what you want to do. The Buddha of Suburbia, well, I haven't read it. I mean, I read the beginning sometimes as a, as a, as a, as a public reading. And it's very strange, actually, as you, as you get older and further and further away. I mean, the boy in, in, the, in the story is 17. He's much younger than, than my kids are. Uh, I must have written it when I was in my late 20s, early 30s. Um, and I wouldn't dare to read it now because actually it's quite a... Quite, it's a close-up, really, of my, my family and of uh, my background, of my street, of my friends, of the music we heard, the clothes. It might be rather upsetting, rather moving. It's like finding suddenly a box of old photographs and suddenly seeing uh, stuff you haven't seen f f for years. Uh, I don't think I would actually read it again. I know Philip Roth read all of his books all the way through when he was an older man, but you, do, you, you don't really see the good bits when you read your, read your stuff. You think, oh, that, bit, that bit's a bit dodgy. Or I hope they didn't notice that. I should have cut that and so on. So it's, it's not a pleasing thing to try and do. Nikolai Foster, who runs uh, Leicester Curve, came to me and he, he said he wanted to do the movie as a play. Um, and I was a bit trepidatious at first, as they say, because, you know, I wrote it when I was in my 20s and now going back and, uh, of course, I had to make the scenes longer. I had to add new material and, 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 and I wanted to put some more jokes in and this and that. And it was a bit odd, you know. Re rewriting something that you wrote when you were so young. But actually, once I got into it, I really enjoyed it. Um, and I thought it was relevant. You know, it's about nationalism. It's about um, forbidden love, you might say. It's a love story, a gay love story. Um, it's about families, and it's about two boys, one a gay skinhead and one a gay Pakistani, who, who have to, in a way, break away from their communities. Uh, in order to make a new community between them and with other people. That's quite a difficult thing to do. So it's about identity, I guess. Um, something that people talk about all the time now. So, uh, But it works. Audiences are enjoying it. We got the Pet Shop Boys to, to run up some new music for it, which they really kindly did, and it's fantastic uh, music. So it works as, a, as a, a live, contemporary experience. It's not really a sort of heritage piece. It, it works at the moment, and the actors are terrific. So, you know, we're in showbiz. Writers, writers hate that question, what are you doing next, or what are you doing now? And their mind immediately goes blank. Um, well, actually, I'm working on lots of things. I'm working on various bits and pieces, uh, 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 as I did with What Happened. 
but I'm writing a new movie with one of my sons. He's 26, 27, I always forget. And I'm writing a movie with him. Um, and it's quite interesting because it's about his generation. So it's something I could never have done. Uh, and I don't think he could do it without me giving him, let's say, guidance. I was going to say a bollocking here and there. But it's really good fun to work. It's good fun to work with other people because you can do stuff you couldn't do by, by yourself. But working with a member of your own family is a bit, uh, 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 let's say, uh, nervous making. Um, but it's a good story, and I, and I think it will work. So I'm doing, I'm, do, I'm doing that. I'm enjoying that. I just, actually, all I do is I do what I like. I mean, I do what I enjoy to do. I write what gives me pleasure.